So I've returned back to have a look at my tomatoes and I've seen that they've been eaten, which is a real, real nightmare. After growing them all on this far, a couple have not survived, but being eaten, that's not on. So today, I'm going to try and conquer the slugs and the snails with an item from the supermarket for just 49p. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So to combat my slugs and snails I bought this garlic. This was 98p and we've got four cloves but we only need two so we can actually use the other two and two of these are going to be used for our mixture. So two I'm going to split these apart and separate them. So we've got all of our individual cloves. There we go. Do the same with the second one. So we've got two garlic bulbs separated there we go and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take off my sock I'm gonna use my sock and we're gonna add all these into my sock There we go. And the idea of this is to crush all of my cloves. So there's two bulbs in my sock. And that's our garlic and then I'm going to crush these I'm going to have great delight we all got nice crushed garlic nice and crushed And I'm going to leave this garlic in my sock and I'm going to add the sock into the saucepan. So I'm going to get a litre of water and add that to my pan. And I've also got my cooker. And we're doing this outside because this makes a nice stink if you do it indoors and I'm going to get well told off for doing that indoors so I'm just going to go and get some water and we're going to put this on simmer for 15-20 minutes and we'll boil it up 
and we'll see what happens. So we're back with our litre of water. I'm just going to add it into our pan. And then we're going to boil it and we're going to simmer it for about 15-20 minutes. Doing this outside as it makes a right old stink indoors. I'm gonna get in trouble. So I'm just gonna let that go and we'll come right back. So there we go. So I'm just gonna let it cool down and we'll come back in a mo. So we've let this cool off again now and I've given this a squeeze and we can see all the nice concentrate and it really smells. Just walking up the garden all we can smell is garlic. So I'm giving this a good squeeze, getting all those juices out and a nice concentrate. So well, there we go. So the old garlic mush can be just thrown away. And we've got our lovely <laughs> stinky concentrate. So I'm gonna add our concentrate into a screw top container. And this will last for well over a year in the container. There we go, just about right. So I'm going to remove the cooker and that's our garlic wash. That is really really good. So to use our garlic wash we need a spray bottle and we don't need much we only need around a tablespoon per litre. So we're adding that to our spray bottle. And then we're gonna add some water to dilute it. So one spoonful for one litre. If you have a bigger spray bottle, then it might need two spoon, two teaspoons full. So we've got it in our spray bottle, and then mix it up. We add the lid on, and we give it a shake. So we're going to put this on away. That can go and sit in the greenhouse. And then we can spray our plants. There we go. So this needs to be done every two weeks. And if they're left outside in the rain, wait for it to dry and then reuse it again and start the two weeks off on them. So we're gonna stop them with our garlic wash 49p from the supermarkets let me know in the comments have you tried the garlic wash have you met much success we're gonna have a gonna have a go see if it stops these little blighters cheers <laughs>